this is going down. Hey guys, it's Amber. So today I'm going to be doing a makeup declutter on my eyeshadow palette. So I'm doing this a little differently than I've done in the past. I'm not having the camera pointed down on the ground and just going through everything like that. I'm just going to kind of talk through it here and I'm only going to make separate videos where I'm actually choosing through it. I think for lipsticks and for eyeshadow palettes because those seem the most popular. Everything else I'm going to declutter on my own and then just make one wrap up video where I show you everything I'm getting rid of and why. I asked on Instagram what you guys want to see which way and I got 50% so I was like let's do half of it one way, half the other, everybody's happy. Alright, uh, uh, huh. this is going to be hard. Um, for some reason unknown to me or anyone else really, I have a stash of stuff that I'm supposed to be getting rid of. And these, I guess we could call it, of palettes that I know I didn't want to keep, but I kept, but I wasn't using. So we're going to go through those first. First one is the Vice 3, 4 palette. I don't remember which one. This one is well loved. I used it in a project pan that palette. And I'm satisfied with the amount of use I got out of it, and I'm ready to let it go. All right, next is the Naked 3 palette. I used this for a, like a couple weeks or a month, you know, in a rotation. And I just felt like it was starting, it was starting to get a little dry. The shadows just weren't very pigmented. I used to love this palette. I really do like this palette. I know a lot of people love this palette as well, but I feel like my particular one is just old and they no longer perform, so I should get rid of it. This palette was just a hot mess. This is the e.l.f. Velvet Touch Eyeshadow. I use this in like a products I regret buying or worst products ever. The only shade worth it kind of was this green yellow, which isn't a shade that I actually reach for a lot. So this is a no-go and I'm getting rid of that. All right, the BH Cosmetics Curly Bible Palette. I actually really like this palette, so I'm going to be keeping this. Ooh, when I see something I don't want to decide, I just skip it. Um, Makeup Revolution. I like this palette. It's been a long time. Happy birthday? Is it my birthday? She likes to whisper things because I tell her like, be quiet, mama's gonna film. And so she just whispers random things and now she's whispering happy birthday. This is the palette that I kept my last declutter because there are a few shades in here I really like, but I haven't used it at all since I decluttered last, so I'm gonna get rid of it. So for my singles, I have them in this palette and also this uh, Shop Miss A palette. I feel like there's definitely things I can get rid of in here, but I'll probably include that in like the big overall video. Okay, my Jaclyn Hill palette. Wow, what happened to this? Like I was using that a lot, but girl, got me some mess. I love this palette. I'm going to keep this palette. Golden State of Mind. I actually do really like this palette. I like the pops of glitter, so I'm going to keep this. The Athena Bad Habit palette, which I wasn't aware of that Bad Habit like doesn't even exist anymore. I actually really like this palette and I was really sad to find out that Bad Habit and Hush app or whatever is no longer even a thing. But that doesn't change how I feel about this palette. I really like it so I'm going to keep it. The Wet n Wild Au Naturel palette. I kept this because it was like a drugstore dupe for the naked, but I, I don't need it. I'm going to get rid of it. The Tarlet Tease is a hard one for me. I don't necessarily love, but I reach for when I'm traveling. And unfortunately for me, I haven't traveled a lot lately. So I think I'm going to put this in the maybe pot. This palette I really like. I was using this all last month. I really like it, but it's really old. And I feel like just due to the age of this, that I should get rid of it. Like, it's old. It really is. And... This pains me because this is one of my favorite palettes. But I think it just needs to be done. All right, well, this whole thing is clear. And what I'm keeping is the Bad Habit Athena palette, the Color Pop Golden State of Mind, the Jaclyn Hill palette, and the BH Cosmetics Carly Bible palette. Wow. Then I have these singles that I'm going to go through at a later date. That is it. I need to wipe these all down. And um, I will do that at the end. Okay, now for this Winky Lux palette. I like this palette. I want to keep this palette. This is one that I want to like switch in and use. So yes, I like this palette. Too Faced on Natural Eyes. You know, if it came between this one and the Tartlet Tees, I would probably pick this one for traveling just because there's more shades. I don't know why I'm having a hard time getting rid of this. Um, still thinking. But yes, I do like this palette. I think it's a great companion palette. 
for if I have a colorful palette, then I just have a little one with neutral shades. So I do like this. I'm going to keep this. The NYX Happy Birthday Palette. I don't know why. I haven't really used this. Like, it literally is almost brand new, guys. I just feel like I have these shades in other palettes, and I feel like someone else could really love and appreciate this, so I'm going to get rid of it. All right. The Pure Soray Diaries Palette. I really love this palette. I'm going to keep this palette. The Olimar Cosmetics. Ugh, another good palette. I really love this palette. This is a good one. See, if it came between this one and this NYX palette, like, these are very similar, but, like, look how much more vibrant that one is. I, I made a good choice. Okay, this palette is the Wet n Wild... Mm, nude awakening my daughter got into this it's going all right when while I'm walking on eggshells you know this is like unnecessary I guess I had this because I wanted to have one of the wet and wild trios but reality do I ever really use this I feel like I was keeping this for the sake of keeping it but not really using it so I'm gonna get rid of it this is a good one. This is my Coastal Scents. I really like these. I need to use these more. I like these. I'm going to use these. I'm going to keep these. Okay, Naked 2. I just think it's too old. I've, I've enjoyed my Naked 2. Um, there's still some good pigment here. It's not as dry as my um, Naked 3 for whatever reason that got more dry, but I oh. think that it's just... This is old. I've had it a really long time. I just... My palettes all need to be wiped down so bad, so that is definitely happening after this video. My Bad Habit Aura palette. I really like this palette. Looks like Little Miss kind of messed this one up too, so that one needs a little cleaning job, but I really like this palette. I just got it last year, so I'm, I'm going to keep that. My Subculture. I really like this. Um, I know a lot of people don't like it, but I do. I do like this. I, I want to use this again, but it's more of a fall I palette too. Like do you like it? Yeah, I like it too. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it. And also, I have my Modern Renaissance palette. I keep them in the boxes since oh, they've got pink. the felt. It's pink. It is pink. I'm gonna keep both of these. Is that pink? This Blink palette. I love this palette. I forgot I had this. This is my hand. Um, this Elf Prisms. You know, when it came between this and the um, the sparkling one from ColourPop, I like that better. So I'm gonna get rid of this. I think I'm gonna keep this. There are some really nice bright jewel tones. I'm going to keep this. This is from Elf. And this is the Elf Mad for Matte. I did have a broken shade, but I just don't find myself reaching for this at all. I'm going to get rid of this. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. There's a couple here that I'm like... Okay. Chocolate bonbons. Um, I'm going to keep this. It's one that I... I can see me decluttering in the future, but right now, no. The chocolate bar, again, I'm using it right now, so I'm not going to get rid of it. I have had this for a long time, so I can see it maybe getting the cut next time, but I, I think I'm going to keep it for now. Okay, so this one's the easy one. This is the Be a Bombshell palette. This I bought in the Beat the Box challenge, if you guys remember I did that. I honestly don't think I've used it since then, so that's easy to just get rid of. All right, my Lorac Pro Mega Pro 3. I really like this palette. I'm going to keep this palette. And Smashbox on the rocks, man. Hmm, I think because I got rid of my other Smashbox, let's, let's do some swatching here. Because that blue is really pretty. And that other one had a really pretty blue that I got rid of. That is also pretty. I think I'm going to keep this one, but I think next time this is going to be another one that's probably going to have to go. Okay, the Balm. I love this palette. Guys, I've had this a long time. I've used it. I've almost hit pan on Iron Maiden, but I love this little highlighter there. This is like OG palette that I have talked about so much, so I'm not going to get rid of it. I really like this one. And my Kat Von D May Vita Loca palette. Regardless of all the drama that's gone on. But this is a really cool palette. And I haven't used it very much. And I think I'm going to keep it. Alright, so let's get these back in there. So we have May Vita Loca. Or I have a May Pro 3. This is just a pair of eyelashes. Smashbox. Smashbox. 
Weird, I like no longer am gonna have any naked palette. All right, what's left in here is my Mavita Loca, Smashbox on the Rocks, Mega Pro 3 from Lorac, my Subculture and Modern Renaissance Chocolate and Chocolate Bonbons, my Aura Palette, Olimar, Pure, Sorry Diaries, Winky Lux, Too Faced Natural Eyes, The Balm, Balm Jovi, and my Coastal Scents. Okay, so then that brings me down to, obviously I just got this Belle Jordan palette recently. That's on again because I'm not getting rid of that. And this Tartlet Tees, you know, I think I'm going to get rid of it. I, I think I'm never going to use it. I just think I spent $25 on that little tiny palette. It's already spent, so if I'm not going to use it, there's no point in keeping it. All right, so let's go over everything I'm getting rid of. One Be A Bombshell palette, one Elf Prism Eyeshadow, one Smashbox Wonder Vision, even though I don't want to, I feel like it's too old. One Wet n Wild on Natrial and another Wet n Wild on Natrial. Those are both going. Makeup Revolution, Naked 2, Naked 3. Um, NYX Happy Birthday palette. Elf Velvet Touch Eyeshadow Palette, Vice 3 Palette, the Mad for Matte Elf Palette, Tartlet Tees, and Walking on Eggshells. So a few of these are still usable, so I will just go ahead and wipe everything down, um, sanitize them, and then I'll just open it up to my friends and family and let them have them if they want them. So that's my eyeshadow declutter i hope you guys enjoyed this little bit different format and then i will go ahead and do my lip stuff and then i will do one roundup at the end of everything else i decided to get rid of all right thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time bye